Hi, my name is Alessandra, and today with Modus Nova, we are answering your most asked rehab questions from our Rehab Power Hour. Today's video is going to be on flexion, tone, and how that relates to the hand mentor. So give it a like, a comment, and we'll see you guys next time. We just had some questions come in. Uh, one, the questions are from Adrian. Um, so she's asking, do you have to have movement out of flexion to be able to use the hand mentor? Uh, that's the first question. And then the second question, mm -hmm. the second question is, does muscle memory play a part in either of the, the, the devices, the hand mentor or the foot mentor? Sure. Yeah. So I've got a question here from Adrian. I don't know if you guys are able to hear that on the live stream. Uh, I'll just repeat this really quickly. Um, the question from Adrian was, um, uh, is movement out of flexion required? Um, and does muscle memory play a part in either of the devices, the hand mentor and the foot mentor? So you're kind of nuanced questions here. I think we actually addressed some of this earlier today uh, with respect to um, sort of the, the predictors of, um, of, of the ability to, to engage in this. By no means are those things required to actually um, engage with the hand mentor or the foot mentor. Um, that's certainly not a, a factor, right? There is a, the, the muscle, the actuator that's built into both the hand mentor and the foot mentor has the ability to move you independently. Um, now that is a little bit different than what type of outcomes we can expect, but by no means do you need to have um, uh, that capability to use the hand mentor. Um, and in fact, that's the way it's actually designed. It's designed to help with um, augmenting our extensor muscles, right? Uh, if you imagine my hand going down here into flexion, this is the extension muscle. So the hand mentor is designed to actually externalize that um, extensor, or extensor muscle um, to help provide that help. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. This idea of muscle memory, and does it play a role in either of the devices? This is a really interesting one. Um, muscle memory is a funny thing, and it has sort of a colloquial name um, and a colloquial sort of understanding. But the, um, the idea behind this is basically uh, understanding sort of uh, uh, motor patterns and motor learning. That's really what's sort of fundamental to this concept of muscle memory, if you will. And I think, yes, as we begin to learn to use your limb again um, in a functional way, those functional patterns, those patterns of recruiting neurons in a certain way in a certain, certain temporal sequence, meaning in time and space, um, will basically generate a pattern. Um, and that pattern, you can think of that as a, a, a memory, if you will. It's not necessarily housed in our muscle, right? It's housed in our nervous system. Um, and, uh, and so that, of course, does play a role as we learn to reuse our limbs again um, in, a, in a very purposeful way. So thanks to that question, um, Adrian.